Spook. Hello, crew. We're back for more spookiness. Ooh. We're back to Resident Evil. Oh, Chris, you're being zany again. All right, so. Clean up the mess. He Fr just walked over it. Yeah. Huh. So I think uh, Rebecca's had plenty enough time. To, oh, to practice. To practice, the... yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. She better be I can still pretty hear good now. Too. <laughs> yeah. I don't. Yeah, she's not. I don't think she's quite there yet. But we've got a few things to do. Like, like a lot of things to do. Like what? Well, we still have to get the masks. There's a couple of keys hiding around in places that we have yet to collect. Doors to unlock. Mm -hmm. Snakes to run away from. <laughs> Sounds delightful. Eventful, yes. Uh, yes, e eventful. So we're going to go ahead and drop that sucker off. Uh... Mm, suckers. Yes. Food. Of course. <laughs> All right. So now we're going to um, we're gonna take care of an individual that we've been avoiding for a while. This gentleman. Hello, sir. Boom. Taken care of. We're gonna unlock this. Excellent work. But we don't need to use it. Remember, we're going for headshots because headshots take care of future problems. Indeed. So, right now, um, I would like to grab a couple masks while we're waiting for Rebecca. By the time we get back, she should be super done. Uh, we are going to take a roundabout route doing a, a issue, though, because uh, in the previous hallway where we went back to get the shotgun with the broken shotgun, that hallway is very dangerous now, because as you may have seen in episode one or two, also we're going to use the key on this door, but we ain't going through it, because there's nothing for us out there, and uh, it just don't matter. Anyways. We got a small key from a zombie in a bathtub, and we left him lurking in there. And if we go in that hallway, him and four of his friends are gonna throw make, a party. They're gonna make trouble for us. So, let's gonna leave it alone. Yeah, we like to show up to parties late, so. Or not at all. Oops. Yes, I do prefer to stay home. <laughs> So we're going to solve this armor puzzle. This one. Some of these, when you push them in, they will uh, move the other ones. So we're being preemptive in pushing in the ones that are reactionary. Just like that would. But that is fine, because the puzzle is solved. Excellent job. Yep. Intellect 2000. <laughs> or I've played this before. Either way. I'm gonna pick up this bad boy. Mysterious box. Right in my pocket. Or look at it. So the inscription... What does it say? Sunshine will awaken me. Okay, so we only want to press buttons that correspond with the sun. That means this guy. And uh, let's go with this guy. Sweet. It's a mask. It's a mask without eyes, nose, or mouth. Very creepy looking. Great. Yeah. <laughs> Indubitably. I I don't know if I want to know why that mask even exists. Best not to ask questions. And don't worry, in case you saw that plank, I have a plan. I'll pick that up a little later. For now. We've got uh, things to pick up. Mm-hmm. And some more cardio. Cardio, of course. Of course. Ooh. 
Ooh, lots of, lots of good stuff. I'm gonna put some of this away, though. I'm gonna take this guy. And pick up this stuff. Picking up things that we don't really need right now, but will. For sure. Oh, pick it up, Chris. Jeez, this man. Shotgun shells always welcome. Hopefully we uh, if we play our cards right, we won't have to use anything else. Mm-hmm. That is the ideal. <laughs> Grab this herb. Wonder what that sign says. I will read it. It says blah 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 blah. Thank you. <laughs> blah 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 Wesker. Beautiful. Yes. Thank you for reading it to me. You're welcome. Made it so much better. No. I'm not gonna need these because the ammo is for pansies. Or that herb. What? <laughs> we don't need any of that stuff. Where we're going, we don't need shells. What do we need? We need our shotgun. We need this key. We need these keys. That's it. That's all <laughs> we need. <laughs> We're hardy survivors. Ooh, can't wait to see what happens. Yes. It's through here. Oh, yeah, that's gonna break. We can't. Now we can't go through this door this direction, but we can still go through it from the other side. Okay. We have another gentleman in waiting. Hello. Hi. Oh, Aww. that's a problem. Oh well. That's fine. Do I want to? Yes. Yes, I do. That's fine. Some zombies, I think, are predetermined to, like, not be headshotable, if that's a word. But it's okay. I forgive him. So what we're doing here is we have to uh, turn these lights to be a specific color. Uh, it may look like there's six pictures, but it's only three. But it, flipping the switch on different sides changes them to different colors. So you got to figure out uh, which side, which switch changes it to the color that you want. Uh... So for these ones, we want the one there in the back to be red, this one to be purple, and the one right here to be green. And the way that you figure that out is you look at this picture. The the gentleman that we switched to green, he has a uh, it mentions a crown when you read this picture. The old man, it mentions his necklace, and the uh, the other guy over here with the sword that we were that we did first, it mentions his bracer. So that's how you know which color you need which item. I'm not going to be giving you all the answers, though. Okay. <laughs> this, that would be very boring. Or helpful. Either way. Pick it up, Chris. Jeez. Ugh, oh, so yeah. ugly. So now, to avoid that party I was talking about earlier, we're going to be taking the roundabout route. Excellent. Yes. I we like here. myself a good scenic view. We also don't like to waste shotgun ammunition on unnecessary zombies. The scenic route's a better route anyway. Yes. Uh, yes. However, I did activate the dogs over here. What? Yeah, so there's going to be dogs. Uh. No, not the dogs. Always the dogs. 
Very well. Debating, there's a knife in there I kind of want. I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to do it because I kind of want that self-defense knife. Now the key is I have to knock this guy down. Don't have to kill him because that cabinet will always keep him trapped back here. But... Uh, I want that self-defense knife. Also, so people can see this. Chris wetting himself over the zombie. <laughs> I don't want to get grabbed, though. He's not going to wet himself over this. Uh-oh. Stay down, sir. He's a man. So that's fine. We lost two shells, but we gained a self-defense knife, which I think is more valuable than two shells. Mm-hmm. Not a big deal. Yep. All right, now where to? Oh, the dogs. Never mind. I warned Forget you. Forget I asked. Slalom, slalom, slalom. Effective. No, not the dogs. Oh, you don't, no, don't like oh, dogs. Oh, don't worry. We'll have to go back that way. Uh. Also, that's not the last of dogs. No. Yes. Yeah, that's a pretty door. It's a nice design. It's a, it is a nice door. I mean, quick enough, old, we won't but... have to worry about the dogs. But uh, I'm not usually quick enough. Oh, I don't want that. I want this. Oh, there's a dog present. Mm-hmm. I could see it on the other side of the gate. The other side of the fence. <clears throat> Grabbing a few things. Not a big deal. Oh, I can hear one running. Ugh. That could mean that he's over here now. Nope. Well, we got in and out without them jumping over the fence. They got us. The dogs are creepy. Ooh, they're banging. Where are you going? YOLO! Ah! Oh yeah, there's the party. Told you. No. I was gonna go back around, but uh, we don't have to go in that hallway anymore. Oh good. Yes, very good. I was afraid we'd have to stay for the party, but I didn't want to. Okay. So now that we've acquired a few things, we're going to check in on Rebecca. Ooh, and we have two of the masks. Don't worry. We're taking our shotgun shells back. Okay. So we're going to take our shells. We need the shield for sure. And the flask? Yeah, we'll take the flask. That's fine. Mm. All right. There's a reason I don't want to take that flask. Because there's a zombie that we knocked down that uh. You don't want it to get back up. I don't up. want him to get back <laughs> up. But we gotta take the long route because I broke that doorknob. Well, you do what you can. Yeah, not a big deal. But we're halfway done with the the four masks. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Zombies are no problem. I wouldn't worry about them. Well, I mean, they're not really a problem if you're good at what you do. Well, so. yeah, and if you play your cards right, the shotgun's really all you need, like we showed. Mm-hmm. It's, it's just, again, whether or not you blow their head off and whether if you take care of them mm -hmm. the right way. Because I don't care to use the handgun. I actually don't like knocking zombies down this game, period, because they're just going to get up again, so there's almost no point. But if you use a shotgun and blow their head, head off, zero issues. This man yep. is getting cooked. Woo! Perhaps. I like me some barbecue. Not barbecue zombies, though. Oh. I don't think it tastes very good. I was checking on her. Chris, 
Chris, <gasps> I think I got it. Do you now? Mm, lovely. Sounds a lot better. But you know who got it on their first try? Practice Miss perfect. Valentine. <laughs> What's this? See what cracks me up about this? <laughs> so this is a puzzle that unless you know what you need before going in, you'll get trapped. So you take the shield or emblem, whatever. And the door closes. Uh-oh. Not good. Very spooky. However, in my mind, at this point, Rebecca just saw me get trapped in here. So if she played the song again, theoretically... Right, right. It exactly. Would, uh... But it's cool. I forgive her because Rebecca is best girl. <laughs> kind of. There's many best girls. Trevor's Diary. Eleven days have passed since arriving on this estate. How did I end up like this? A guy in a lab coat brought me a meager plate of food and said, Sorry to put you through this, but it's for security reasons. That's when it hit me. It all makes sense now. There are only two people that know the secret of this mansion, Sir Spencer and myself. If they kill me, Sir Spencer will be the only person that knows the secret. But for what purpose? It doesn't matter now. It's too dangerous here. My family. I hope they're alright. I've decided to escape. Jessica. Lisa. I pray you are safe. How could I be so careless? I lost my favorite lighter, the one Jessica gave me for my birthday. Now it's going to be that much harder to escape this dark place. November 13th, the date when my fate was sealed. My aunt was hospitalized just three days before that. Jessica and Lisa said that they were going to visit her. I wish I could be there with them. But wait, even as I'm writing, my memory is coming back to me more vividly. Just before I passed out, I remember the men in the lab coats said something like, Most likely your family is already I pray for this safety somehow I managed to get out of that room but getting out of the mansion won't be this won't be as easy I have to get past all the booby traps tiger eyes gold emblem I have to try and remember for my own sake spoilers yes Rebecca were you all right in there yeah absolutely not <laughs> you didn't help at all <laughs> She did her part. She's just waiting for you to do yours. All right. We'll give her a participation reward after the, we get back. Good job, Rebecca. You were there. <laughs> you but everybody else got like uh, medals and stuff for Valor. It's like, yes, they did. They did. Mhm. Mm but you. Mm -hmm. You were there. Yep, yep. And you played that piano. You did. Good for you. <laughs> you, Rebecca. Alright, so now... No. The one with the paintings? Yeah, the, so this one... <clears throat> you gotta look at it. Man with long sword stabbing man in red with uh, in the head. And the man in red is stabbing the man in green with a shorter blade. Okay. Now, where are they stabbing them? One's in the head, one's in the chest. Mm hmm So now, blah, 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 I just said that. Okay, you gotta come over here. So the key is to make the long hand stabbing through, uh, or no, sorry, the short hand needs to go through the, the breastplate because the long arm's already going through the helmet, which is the head. Mm hmm That makes sense. TLDR... Move the right gear left twice. Sorry, move the large gear left twice. And then nothing's gonna happen. So you gotta say, no, I won't keep turning. And then boom! Problem solved. Excellent. Yeah. Ooh, another key. Which one is it? It is the shield key. Did I check this one? Armor key, cool. Alright, so now... Now? Now we will proceed back to save room. 
because we opened up a shortcut. I don't want to go to the other save room. Okay. So we'll go there. Because we still have to pursue our goal of acquiring the masks. Which we have half completed. Let's see. Uh, by doing that portrait puzzle, now we've made a shortcut. The only problem is... When, if we go to the save room area, we have to go up and around to leave. Because, again, I broke the doorknob. <laughs> I think on ease... Uh, if you're playing as Jill, Barry actually fixes that doorknob. Like, you know where Wesker put that note up? Mm -hmm. And he left me items? Well, when Barry does that, he fixes the doorknob so it doesn't break. So you can keep going through there. So, like, hmm. Jill's, Jill's playthrough is easier in almost every way other than the fact that she can't take as many hits. So... She's got more inventory space and all that crap. Cool. Yeah, cool. But we're playing this man. Oops. Please work. There we go. So he's taken care of. Oh, yeah. Goodbye. Oh, what are you doing there? <laughs> that scared me. I'm not used to... There being another guy there. Dang! That's funny. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, it got me pretty good. Yeah, it startled me a bit, too. Definitely Jeez. wasn't expecting it. Jeez. Alright. So we're gonna save it. It's an old tape ready. You can save if you want to. You can save and leave your friends behind. Because if your friends don't save, then they're no friends of mine. I save. It's a, don't worry. It's a kind of a song. <laughs> I know. Safety dance. <laughs> Something like that. I don't know. <laughs> Words are hard. But you know what isn't hard? Saying goodbye. For now. Which we are. Until next time. Yeah, see you guys in the next one. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye.